Hi angels, welcome to day 25 of 30 days of cleaning with me, Hayley. Today's clean, we are going to be doing an oven deep clean. Now, I know right now we are all feeling like Annie Lennox receiving this news. Why? Tell me. Well, I'm about to tell you why it is so important that we keep our ovens clean. Cue the Haley's Help History on ovens and bacteria. The first official oven in recorded history was built in 1490. It was in France and was made using brick and tile. Although there have been other ovens before this date, the French oven is the first one recorded. In a UK study, 2,200 people admitted to only wiping down their ovens every 18 months. When ovens are not cleaned, they pose serious risks. Grease and grime buildup interferes with the oven's efficiency when it comes to cooking food. Unclean ovens will not cook the food through properly as the grease and grime affects the natural travel of hot air circulating inside the oven. Not only that, but a dirty oven can release pollutants into our home. Yikes. The British Lung Foundation warns that dirty ovens can release two kinds of pollutants in our homes. Microscopic particles of dust and dirt and gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides and sulphur dioxide. So, Armed with this knowledge, let's get our ovens cleaned at once. For today's clean, we are going to be using oven cleaner. The oven cleaner I am going to be using is the Oven Pride. And you also need to make sure when taking on this clean that you are not going to be using your oven. So if you're gonna be using your oven, do this clean in the evening. If you don't need to use your oven because you're cooking on the hob, say for example, then it's fine to go ahead and do this during the day. But just be mindful of if you need to use your oven, don't do this yet, wait until the evening time and then you can do it once you've finished your cooking. Okay guys, so when it comes to cleaning your oven, I have a whole deep cleaning process that takes place and it's a lot but it's worth it. Now, I like to pull the oven out and clean underneath the oven, behind the oven, the sides of the oven, just because I'm extra. You can do that as well if you want. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just do the oven clean for now. But I do advise that you do this because you will find that there is a whole lot of mark behind your oven. Obviously, if you have an inbuilt oven, then this doesn't apply to you. So. Before you do anything, put on some gloves. Make sure the gloves are not damaged. You do not want oven cleaner going on your skin. It doesn't matter what other cleaner you're using. Don't do it unless you're wearing gloves because it is really, really dangerous to be on your skin. So now we've got our gloves on, I'm gonna remove my trays. These are disgusting. Look how filthy they are. These are gonna be getting a deep clean. I've got like a wire scrubbing brush I'm going to be using for these we'll get to these in a little while but for now just remove all of your trays and then we're going to go in and put our solution into the oven for it to soak for today's oven clean I am going to be using the marigold scrub away heavy duty scourer this is amazing on things like the wire racks. This, I'm gonna show you guys when I come to using it. It takes off any grease and grime effortlessly. It's really, really good. So that's what it looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start applying our oven solution over the entire oven until the whole of the oven is coated. This is then gonna be left for a while and then we're gonna come back and start wiping it down. We're then going to do the same on our top oven as well. 
So just pour the solution in and then you're gonna rub it all over the oven. We're gonna also at this point remove the glass panels. Most ovens, you should be able to do this, remove the glass panels. Some of them have like clips. Just check first, because there might be clips at the bottom that you can you flick down and you can actually remove the, this glass here. So I'm gonna take mine out now and put those with our racks. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how brilliant this sponge is at getting off grease and grime. This is literally just tap water. I've not put any products on this yet. I am going to in a second, but just so I can show you why I love this sponge and I favor it when it comes to ovens over other ones that you can get is it works an absolute charm. So let's wet it and just use tap water. And this is my top oven rack. That's just with tap water, getting that off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, on our scourer, we're gonna put some of our oven cleaner and we're gonna go over all the racks and remove any grease and grime that is lingering on them. And we're gonna leave this to soak in our sink for a little while. your racks go ahead and add a layer of the oven solution to your glass this time use a soft cloth you don't want to go in with the scour up because it will scratch the glass so just coat it with the solution and then place these in the sink with your racks because you want the solution to work its magic on those for a little while When it comes to the knobs on your oven, the best thing to use to clean these is an antibacterial dish soap and an OXO Good Grip. While we're cleaning the knobs from our ovens, I'm gonna go ahead as well and put the parts from the hob into the dish soap as well and give them a good scrub too. So when you get your buttons, like the knobs, just go around it with your good grip or an old toothbrush. If you don't have the good grips, it's fine. Just use an old toothbrush, a clean one, obviously, but one that you use for cleaning. And get inside all of the nooks and crannies. We are going to start cleaning the actual hob itself. So for this, I am gonna be using the Sif Cream. This is the lemon one. It's not my favorite, I prefer the original, but they didn't have the original left when we went to the store, so that's what we're working with. So apply, apply a nice amount of that to your hob. And then we're gonna start wiping it down with our cleaning cloth. So for this, those of you that have been here throughout the 30 days, you'll know currently we are doing black for the clean, white to be seen. So I'm going to wipe this down with the black cloth and we're going to work it in and make sure that all the grime has gone. Then we're going to dry it off with the white cloth. For 
smaller areas, go ahead and use a toothbrush or OXO good grips just to get any of the dirt that is trapped in there. This will include around these sections here, just pulls out any muck that's decided to fester there and make it its home. We are also at this stage going to go over the front section here. Just make sure you get around all of the buttons. Okay guys, now we are going to go in with our white damp cloth to remove the product off of our hob. Now, as always, guys, it is time to disinfect. For those of you that can move your ovens, this is the time to safely move your oven out. Make sure it's switched off first at the mains and then go ahead and move your oven out. If you don't have an oven that is movable, that's fine. You can begin placing your knobs that we've cleaned back on to your oven. But for those of you that are partaking in this particular section of the clean today, we are going to do exactly what we've just done on the hob. So we're gonna use our sift cream. We're gonna do a Cinderella on the floor where the oven is. So the Cinderella method is basically cleaning by hand with a cloth and with your solution. Once we've done that, we are then gonna go in with our bleach solution to sanitize. Once we've wiped down, we're gonna do wall washing. We're gonna do these sides of the cabinets here and then we are gonna do the sides of the oven. So if I show you my oven quickly, where it's obviously at the side, you can see there, there's gunk. I need to get rid of all of that. There's some sort of noodle embedded on the side here. That will be from my darling eldest son when he cooks his super noodles. And all of that needs to be gone. So I'm gonna use the sift cream on that and then we will go in with the bleach solution afterwards. handles itself and the front of the oven this again is a really important part that we mustn't skip because these will become infested with bacteria my ones I can actually remove and take off which I will be doing shortly I mean it's not absolutely essential that you remove them but I'm just being extra just go ahead and use your sift again on the handles and give them a really good scrub and you can also use this on the front of your oven as well, just to remove any baked on food that might have spilled on the front of your oven. And then once we've done that, we're gonna rinse it off and then we can disinfect with our bleach solution. And then we're just gonna dry it off with our white microfiber cloths. start touching your clean stuff take your gloves off and wash your hands they are gonna have got hella sweaty 
sweaty Betty in the rubber gloves and you don't want to be touching your hands over the stuff if they are not freshly washed. So go ahead and wash them at this point. Don't worry, we are going to be coming back to the gloves, but this just makes it easier when it comes to putting back on your other knobs. <laughs> For those of you whose ovens weren't overly dirty to begin with, you can go ahead and start removing this product after four hours. For those of you who have got a slightly dirtier oven, you wanna leave this product overnight ideally. So pick up from here in the morning, but it, if your oven isn't too bad, after four hours, it's worked enough for it to lift the most part of the dirt. You need to fill up a sink of clean warm water and we are gonna go in with our cloth and just start removing the product and it literally just wipes away all the grime. Any burnt on bits that you've found haven't been removed, you can go ahead and give it a quick scrub with your scourer and that should take it off and just continue this process throughout your entire oven until you've removed all of the product you really need to make sure that every single bit of this product has been removed before you go ahead and start using the oven and I personally advise once you've done this clean, you let your oven run on a low setting for a little while, just because I worry about the fumes and the chemicals and you don't want your food tasting like oven cleaner. So allow your oven to run for a bit just to get rid of the uh, smell from the products that we've used. Your water at this stage is gonna resemble a brandy and coke. And what you wanna do is make sure that this water is emptied regularly so that you're not dipping your cloth in and then putting it back into your oven. The good news is all of this gunk we've removed from our oven, so hurrah for that. But it is grim. This just shows you how gross our ovens can be. going to take our trays and we're now going to start rinsing them off. I'm going to put a bit of antibacterial dish soap in as well, just for good measure and we're just going to give them one last wipe over. my oven now looks like it is sparkly shiny and looking pristine I hope you guys ovens are looking amazing too I'm sure they are if you want to take some photos do so and send them over to me on one of my socials for those of you that enjoyed the vlog go ahead and smash the like button if you are new here go ahead and click on the subscribe button and you can also click the bell notification to be notified the next time we upload a vlog as always guys, keep your comments coming in and let me know how you are finding the 30 days of cleaning with Hayley and we'll be back again tomorrow for day 26 in 30 days of cleaning with Hayley. I cannot wait for what we are about to take on. Wear something comfortable and get prepared. Until then guys, keep it clean. Bye.